Hello, this is Annalisa from Faith Dream Create, and welcome back to my channel. You are watching my fall card series for 2023, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing a Halloween card. I've been making a few Halloween cards, so I'm going to be sharing them here and there as I make them, and I am using two stamp sets from Simon's Stamp, the Slimline Greetings Stamp, and then the Spiderweb Background Stamp. So I'm going to use some black paper and stamp the spiderweb background on here with the Simon Says Stamp Clear Embossing Ink and then I'm going to use a Simon Says Stamp White Embossing Powder on here to make this spiderweb pop on the black and create a fun Halloween card with the blacks and the white and then I'm going to bring in some purple as well So getting this stamped and my stamping platform and then I'm going to take this out. Now this didn't stamp perfectly and that was air on my part, but it still turns out good and I was able to cut off the parts that didn't stamp super perfect. But I knew that I was going to be cutting this down a little bit. So I will get this embossing powder on here and then heat set this and I melt it. I love how white embossing powder just really stands out on the black, just is such a cool effect and really cool for sentiments, but I really like how this spiderweb turned out as well. I definitely needed a little spider for this. I have been creating my own like spiders in the past, but Simon Says Stamp actually just came out with a little spider die and that would be perfect for this. I definitely want to go ahead and pick that up when I place another order. So getting this heat set and then we can move on to the rest of the card. This was a super simple card. Only a few more steps to go. Do you make Halloween cards? Do you make fall cards? or? Do you just stick to the usual? I just like to have fun with the different holidays and use fall specific stamps and also use stamps that might not be typically fall but add in those fall colors to make them last and get more out of my stamps. It's fun to create with a theme. They and have some fun. I also have a bunch of fall birthdays so it's fun to do a fall theme for those birthdays that happen to fall in the fall. <laughs> so that is all embossed and I've cut it down to fit the card base and now I'm going to use the Happy Halloween stamp from that Slimline Greetings I'm going to be using some vellum, stamping it on vellum, and this is where I bring in the purple. So I thought it would be fun to add in a pop of color. You could do orange, you could do purple, you can do all the things, but yes, um, purple and orange and black and white are what I think of with fall, and I guess there's red as well, but I really liked the idea of adding purple, so I'm using a Distress Oxide ink and doing the purple here and then I'm going to go ahead and add some clear embossing powder over this to seal in the ink, especially on vellum I find that it is really nice to use a clear embossing powder because it seals it in, you're not going to get any smudging and you just get this fun shiny effect. And I made sure that I went back in and cleaned all that off so that my stamps didn't get stained too much and get all smudgy all over the place. So heat setting that vellum with the Happy Halloween, getting it all shiny and fun, and then I'm going to go ahead and glue everything together after I cut out the sentiment. And I was still using the school glue when I made this card. It was my experiment. 
I do find that if you are patient, I really like the school glue to glue down vellum. It just seemed to really work and you don't, I didn't notice anything behind because it dries clear, but you have to be patient with it and definitely use stamping blocks and different things to hold it down. And as I was saying in another video with the paper, it really kind of warps it and makes the paper more heavier, I guess, in the card making realm of things. It is really good for kids and their fun projects, but when it comes to card making, there is a reason why the glue is different and works better with paper. Certain, certain glues work better with certain types of crafts. It's a thing, but it's okay to experiment and try different glues and see what works for you and there's a season for different kinds of glue. But I am very excited to have my Barely Art glue back and have that refilled. And then I decided to go ahead and add this clear glue over the whole background to make it extra shiny. So I'm going over all of the black parts and over the embossing powder, powdered areas that is heat set and just adding some more glossiness and some more shine. It's like the sun is shining on this spider web. We have a, uh, a table outside in our backyard with you know, an umbrella and the umbrella is not up right now but there's been a few spiders webs out there recently and the sun has been shining on it and it's actually really beautiful when the sun hits it especially after it's rained you just see this like glowing effect on the spiders webs so it's kind of like that the the sun is shining on them and spiders are icky and gross and I don't really like them but there is beauty in the spider web and and they are so needed for the garden and yeah so there is beauty in the spider web so I'm going to hold this card up and show you it and all of its fun elements so you can see that it is super shiny and glossy and Halloweeny. So thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.